but uh, we used to go to dances and had a football team out here and races and sports sometimes. The most of the races was up at Perry's, on Perry's paddock up there. That was once a year. Right. Talk a bit more about the race meetings. Tell me a bit more about the meeting, the races. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that used to be pretty good. They'd uh, have the races, uh, picnic sports, uh, put racing in the morning for children and grown-ups. And uh, I never ever done nothing, done no good when I was young. But when I got older, I won three or four of them up there. You know what they used to call, uh, oh, I don't know what they call it. Adults racing and everything, 120 yards. The first one I went in, Mum said to me, "Ain't you going in?" I said, "No." Nah. I said, "I'm not going to give no four bob to go in because me and another bloke was over. I was 18. Well, I don't think I might have been. No, I, I wasn't because I just turned 17. And uh, we were at the the pub and he bought two pots of half beer and half uh, stout. I had one and he had one. I said, no, nah, I don't think so. She said, I'll give you the four shillings. I said, oh, all right. So anyhow, I got on the mark and I, I won that. And the bookie came up to me and he said, what's your name? I said, Duffy, Bill Duffy. He said, I'll give you ten to one. I said, no. So after a while he walked back, he said, still still ten to one. I said, here's two, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> so I won the race and I got four pound ten for the race and a pound off the bookie, so I was a millionaire. <laughs> That's good money. Well, the bookie wasn't the local chap there. He didn't know you. No, no, no. Came from Perth especially for the day. Yeah, be from the city. Yeah. He was a real bookie. Yeah. You know, they come out to bet on race horse, but they used to bet on uh, foot races too. Uh, on the foot races too. Um, yeah. How big were, were the? I mean, how many people would come to the race meetings? Was it a very big, a big gathering? Well, they used to get under there, I suppose. In those times, might have been more. Then they, when the races were over, they all go to the pub and get drunk, and then there'd be a box up then. Right, okay. Um, when you saw the pub, when you saw the pub, was that a special thing for the day, or was it normally a pub in in the area, in Wanneroo? No, no, there was no pub early. They used to have a bushhead pub. Right. Up there. Just for the day? Yeah, just for the day. How'd they keep the beer cold? Wet bags. Wrap them? Yeah, wrap them around them. Pour cold water over them now and again to keep them cold. They didn't know whether there was hot or cold half the time anyhow, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember if it was cold or what it was. And there always be a brawl afterwards? A bunch of yes, them. they used to have a dance afterwards up in the old tin hall that used to be up there. Do you remember that? No, you don't. It should never have been pulled down, you know. It should have been put into a museum, I reckon, because it was, it was really a good old hall, a really homely hall. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you'd wind up that. Right, OK. You said beforehand there'd always be a bit of a box-up afterwards, a bit of a, a bit Yes, of a fight. I used to have a bit of a box-up. Were, were there people who always got involved in fights? Was it always the same oh, people? Oh, well, my dad had a bloke over here working for him, and he got into a bit of a box-up, and next morning he said, I've lost me false teeth, Fred. Oh, he said, how'd you come to do that? Oh, he said, I got into a bit of a box up there, up there last night, or yesterday afternoon or something. He said, why don't you go back and see if you can find them? He said, do you reckon I will? He said, well, you might. So he went back and he's away for a couple of hours and he came home and he said, I found them in the sand up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did, um, those, those kind of fights, were they... The way people settled disputes, you know, things happened over, over the whole year, or was it just a, a drunken fight? Drunken fights. Oh, yeah. Good friends next day. That's what they used to be out here one time. They have a fight today and they'd be good friends tomorrow. <laughs> well, um, was that fairly normal in those days? People have physical oh, fights? Oh, well, it used to be. I know a couple of blokes that used to go into North Perth, and if it was too quiet, they used to get stuck into themselves. Two brothers. When anyone, when anyone tried to stop them, they'd get, get stuck into them and they'd be, the police would be there then. Yeah. Just to, just to, you know, have to stir up a bit of fun. Yeah. They reckon, they reckon, they, they, they used to say they'd do it to cause, cause a bit of fun when it was quiet and no, nothing going on. Mostly it was Saturday night it was. Yeah. 